Hi, I'm Joel. Today I will show you how uh, you will able to generate a PrestaShop module. This is a simply awesome trick uh, where you can generate a PrestaShop module. You won't have to write a single bit of code. Um, it is very easy and anyone can uh, do this. Uh, with this, you will able to uh, generate a simple structure of code uh, that will uh, if you want to create a module you can use this st uh, basic structure in this will help you a lot in uh, creating a module and make you develop a module much faster okay so this is my i just want to introduce my website just before i explain this is my website where you can get a uh, uh, free prestashop themes and uh, there are some free PrestaShop themes and uh, you can get related uh, articles about PrestaShop and uh, tips some ve uh, very good tips and tricks. Okay, so now let's move on to the di main topic that is uh, how to generate. This is a PrestaShop forum. Uh, this is but uh, let's go to the main part that is generating the module. This is an awesome module created by PrestaShop. Uh, <coughs> okay, so all you have to do is you have to come to validator.prestashop.com and uh, you have to sign in with the same account that you used for addons.prestashop.com and uh, so my account is this is an awesome trick you can generate a module uh, according to the needs of your uh the way you can develop you will get a basic structure so you have to come to validator.pressureshop.com you have to log in with your add-ons email uh, address that you can register for a free account so this you have to click on generate a basic module uh, you have to enter a name so i'll say joel Fernandez okay so, so they said five characters only okay, and um, display name I'll say Joel module I'll copy the same thing below and below and I'll say Joel websites for author. Okay, so let's just, just proceed to the next step. Um, I click now next. Okay, so it's saying description. Um, add a description. Okay, so let's. Okay, so Joel. Okay, so I've inserted the important fields. Let's go try going to the next. Okay, so these are the options that you will. Uh, get while creating so confirm uninstall if you want to provide an uninstall option uh, confirm in uninstall create default database does your it is very well self explanatory okay so just go to 1.6 you have to just select the version of pressure shop that you are using or you are creating the module for go to next then okay so i would like to choose the nav bar nav navigation so so i selected a hook nav bar okay so now i'll click on create then i'll get a download i'll uh, simply su get a superb download uh, this is a file this is this is only consists of the basic structure of the module and uh, I'll create a new folder and show you. Okay, so this 
folder if you uh, extract this file and you will get a module folder of the module you just created this will include the uh, uh, the main structure of your module so it will have the views in place it will have also the css javascript and sql everything in place the only thing i don't see here is the controllers fold, uh, folder in the other video i have clearly explained where you have to save the controller folder and your basic structure for the module will be done okay so just uh, make sure you see the other video of mine so that you understand what is what i am talking about and okay so you might get some errors while uh, you activate try to install this module okay but i'll teach you how to activate uh, error reporting in prestashop you have to go to your prestashop folder and you have to go to defines or config uh, in config you have to go to defines.inc you have to open this file okay, let's go to code view and okay so on line number 28 you should see uh, false if you install a fresh copy of pressure shop you should see false for uh, defines.inc.in you will find this inside the con config folder in your pressure shop installation okay so you, this is uh, how uh, this will help you sol uh, lo find the errors so if you solve the errors you will able to uh, create the module in case there are errors I'm just showing you just in case there are any errors there, there is uh, no guarantee if the errors will come or not uh, but it's an awesome way to create a module in a very quick way. Uh, some people struggle, so I just wanted to help them. Okay, so visit my website. It's called joelwebsites.com. Like and share my video. Show other people who want to become web developers uh, my videos and spread the news across the world. Thank you for watching my video. Bye. See you in the next video.